What's going on folks? Welcome back. Something a little different for the channel. It's uh, about mid-March and uh, the days are getting pretty warm. We're about 45 degrees today. And uh, anybody up in New England, you know that's uh, maple syrup time. Which is uh, what I'm doing today. I'm setting some maple syrup lines. Um, it's perfect weather for it. We're going to put in about 20 taps this year. It'll be enough to get probably uh, two or three gallons of syrup. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm just going to show you guys the basics of uh, how you set sap lines. You can make this as simple or as complicated or as scientific as you want to, but I'm just going to walk you through the basics. We have a pretty basic setup. We just run some uh, short lines to some buckets and uh, collect them over the course of a couple weeks and uh, just do a couple days worth of boiling. And we normally have enough to give out to uh, family and some close friends. So I'm just going to spend a little time just to show you guys how we uh, set these. And we do this uh, pretty simple. What we use is a drill, bucket, a lid with a hole in it, a short piece of tubing, a tree tap, which goes into the tree, which is uh, drilled by a hole with a drill. These are uh, pre-boiled to protect the tree. And uh, and that's pretty much it, you know, for this part of it. You just tap the tree, set the line into the bucket, wait for it to fill up, and now uh, boil it. It's pretty simple. So what we look for with trees are these big sugar maples. This is a maple, uh, it's a big tall maple. At the base, it's probably two and a half feet in diameter. And these big two to two and a half feet in diameter maples really uh, put out some good sap. And the sap normally runs, um, you know, anywhere from late February to mid-March, um, depending on the season. It really runs good when it's uh, above freezing during the day and below freezing at night, which uh, is what we are right now. It was about 20 degrees last night and uh, 40 degrees today. So it, uh, it's perfect time for the uh, sap to run. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tapping the southeast face of the tree. So the east face is about here. South face is probably here. The west face is probably over here somewhere. So we want to tap between south and east because this is where it gets most of the sun is on the side of the tree here. So the sap runs the best on the side that's facing the sun. So we're going to put one tap uh, on the southeast face. And you don't need to tap these trees far. You only need to go in, I don't know, about the size of your pinky, you know, inch and a half or so. And uh, these taps don't hurt these trees at all. Um, we've been tapping these trees for uh, five, six years, and uh, they haven't had one problem with it. I know families that have tapped the same maple tree for 150 years, and uh, the maple trees are still doing fine. So um, no need to worry about drilling in the trees, because uh, as soon as you pull a tap out, but it's going to fill in that drill hole in no time. Um, you know, I've checked trees that we tapped last year, and I couldn't even find the hole that we uh, tapped on. So that's the basics of tapping. Um, we did upgrade our setup this year. I'll put in a picture of what we used last year. We did a, a really primitive, um, just we took an old 55 gallon drum, cut a hole in the top of it, put a few uh, five gallon stock pots on it and uh, boiled that way. And it gets the job done, but it's not as efficient as using a pan. We got a nice uh, three foot by two foot pan. And when you boil sap, it's all about surface area. So going the pan route is uh, much more efficient than uh, doing the stock pot route. And the ratio of sap to syrup is about 40 gallons to one. So we need about 40 gallons of maple sap to make one gallon of maple syrup. And uh, depending on your setup, again, depending on how fancy you go or uh, how primitive you go, you can uh, boil down a gallon in a couple hours, depending on your setup. But uh, we're going to get right to uh, tapping. I'm going to just kind of walk you guys through what we do, and I'll show you guys how we drill and set. It's pretty easy. I think we're going to get right into it, guys. I'm going to try to figure out a good place to set the camera, and uh, I'll show you guys how we do this. As you can see, I'm using snowshoes. Uh, that's pretty much a must. We got anywhere from three feet to four feet of snow in certain places. So we tapped some trees the other night. And I didn't have snowshoes, and my legs are all cut up. And it's uh, much easier with snowshoes. All right, that should work. You don't need to dig out any more than you have to. That'll be perfect. Um, so my shadow is going to be right where I want to film, of course. And. And I forgot to mention, you know, you can tap anywhere from like three to four feet up. We try to stick around the three foot mark. And these taps we're using are 5 16 
I think you can get them in different sizes. So you're just gonna match up uh, whatever size you have. So again, east face, south is right around here, west is right around here. So we're gonna put a tap, I don't know, probably right here in this area, maybe east, south. I don't know, we'll put a tap right here. And you wanna put it in, you know, that's about 90. You wanna go up at about a 45. see if that runs which it is all right so the next thing we got to do is make sure we clean out all the shavings because sometimes if you don't clean the shavings out then clean they can uh, clog your spout so that's all clear I'm gonna put this spout in so you guys can see it dripping and you just got to make sure it's snug it should start dripping here anytime there we go. Getting a little bit of a shadow. You can see the drip there. That's actually a pretty good drip. That's going to fill up a bucket in a couple days. But we're going to get a hose on that and uh, get the bucket hooked up. And what we do is uh, we drill a hole there just big enough to get this hose in. And we try to offset the hole over here to the side because if we get rain, rain's going to collect here on the top and it could filter down through your hole if we set it in the center. So we try to keep it up here as high as we can because these, uh, these covers are kind of sloped down a little bit. And again, if you make it as uh, tight as you can, it'll uh, help to prevent rain water from getting in because there's no sense of uh, boiling off any extra water than you have to. All right, so make sure the cover's tight. And just hook your hose to the tap. All right, here we go. It's that simple. Bucket, cover, hose, and a tap, a drill, and uh, we got some sap flowing. All right, guys, off to the next one. I'm gonna do another uh, eight to 10 today. I already did, I think, eight the other day. So I'm going to do another 8 to 10 today. That'll get us close to our 20. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to boil in a week or so. It should, it should be running here pretty good. So I'll just carry you guys around and show you guys how we set up the next ones. All right, heading for this big maple next. This is a big one. You could easily get two taps off of this maple, but I'm just going to put one in it. This is the southeast facing side. We're going to put a tap. We'll be right about here in this uh, small park. We are running good. I just broke off a stick. I gotta pull out some. Uh, I gotta pull out some fibers from the drill. There we go. Perfect. We're running pretty good. That's running out. I don't know. It's not dripping like some of them do, but we got a good run there. That's exactly what we want. And again, we have a nice clean boiled uh, spout here. Nice clean, nice clean tap. And in a minute, we should see that starting to drip. go. Wow, that's actually dripping really good. Let's see if I can get a close-up of that. Get just enough, just enough glare. There we go. It's a good drip. That's actually running pretty good. All right, got a bucket. Get the tube ready. This bucket is good to go. Make sure that gets a nice tight fit. Which it is. Okay, golden. Let's see. All right, got plenty of slack. All right, this tree's good. Moving on to the next one. And sometimes your bucket stick. 
just like these two are. There we go. All right, so that's a two and a half, three gallon. I prefer the five, because you don't have to check them as often, but, but it doesn't hurt to put a few small ones out. And we're gonna put this one right here on the uh, southeast facing side. Um, you know, so south is uh, right about here, west is here, east is over here, so we're gonna go kind of right here, southeast. And we're up at about a 45 degree angle. And there's always a little bit of drill shaving in there. I'm just gonna try to get that out best we can. Perfect. You can probably see the color change there. That means we're getting a nice flow. Make sure that's snug. And we'll get the bucket ready. That's down there nice and snug. Got a little bit of slack in the line. So that one's good. We're gonna uh, head over to this slightly bigger one. So east. West, south, we're gonna go right about here. All right, this one's going good. Getting a good drip. That one's gonna fill up pretty quick. That one's going. like a glove. Sometimes when you reuse these, uh, you get different covers and they don't fit right, but uh, that one fit perfect. Right, make sure that's snug. And we're golden on that one. All right guys, so the taps all look good. Hoping in another three, we'll have maybe 20 or so gallons that we can refine down to a uh, half gallon of syrup. But I'm gonna make this into hopefully a two part, maybe a three part series. So stay tuned guys. The next video is gonna be us uh, boiling this uh, sap down into syrup. So I'm hoping to get this out within a week or so. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one.